Hi guys, welcome back to another video and I have finally installed the Android 12 One UI 4 on my Samsung Galaxy A52s 5G. This update just came out a few days back and I did a video on how to manually update your phone to Android 12 as well if you are interested in that. The update has rolled out for the entire Samsung Galaxy A series, especially the Galaxy A52, the A52 5G, A52s 5G and the A72 as well. So whether you carry the A52s, A52, A52 5G or the A72, this video is relevant for you because the features introduced in the One UI 4 for these smartphones are the same. The experience is going to be the same, which is why the video has such title as well. The Android 12 on this phone, as uh, you know that it's a One UI 4 and it brings a security patch from January 1, 2022. It brings a lot of new features and a lot of new changes which will improve your experience on this device. And I am just going to show you that. Now, before I begin, make sure that you have hit the subscribe button we need to hit 100k subscribers on the channel and we are lacking behind so make sure that you are subscribed and hit the like button the like target for this video is just a thousand likes let's get into the features now the first feature that i'm going to show you it's quite popular among the android 12 users it's the theme colors so basically if you just go ahead and apply a wallpaper on your phone it shows you this new option the color palette the color palette basically extracts the colors from your applied wallpaper and gives you an option to apply these colors to the entire UI of your phone. You can see that all these colors are extracted from my wallpaper. And if I just apply one of these colors, let's say this one, and I also want to apply it to the icons, click on done. And now if you see the icons and if you see the notifications panel, it has the new colors. This is an option in the Samsung One UI 4 and you can find it in the wallpapers option of your phone. I like the default color palettes of the One UI, so I keep using those. As you can see that the icons look nice and clean and especially the notification toggles look really good in the default colors. Okay, another uh, change in the One UI 4 is that you can now select multiple icons and move them together across different pages. For example, if I want to move uh, the phone messages and settings, what I can do is long press icon and click on select i can select multiple icons and now i can move these icons together across different screens on my phone this also works in the application drawer you can move uh, you can select and move the icons in the application drawer of your phone as well across multiple pages as you can see here let me also tell you uh, something new about the widgets on the phone first of all the widgets ui has got an entirely new look you can see that the widgets appear like this on the screen of the phone now you have this list view for the widgets and there are some new widgets as well the noticeable widgets are under the clock section of the phone you can see that you have all these widgets and i have applied one of these on the screen of my phone as well especially this dual clock widget it basically lets you select two different uh, cities or countries on the home screen of your phone and the color of the widget changes according to the time in that country or in that city for example it's 8 23 a.m it's uh, the day has just started in the new york and it's showing you this white background uh, depicting that it's day and in manila it's uh, around 9 23 p.m and it's showing you this dark background depicting that it's night it's a really nice uh, widget and you can also resize this widget according to your own liking. You can see that if I just long press this widget, I can just resize it to whatever I like. Uh, the resizing does not work for all the widgets. It works for a few select widgets on the Samsung One UI 4. Guys, while I am showing you all these new features, make sure that you also keep your eyes on the animations because there are some minor improvements in the animations of the One UI 4 as well. The applications now open faster. The performance of the phone has seen a boost as well. Everything is pretty good on this new Samsung One UI 4. So make sure that you watch this video with all the attention to figure out how it's working and how fluid it is. Let's take a look at the camera applications UI now. There are minor changes in the camera UI as well. First of all, you can see that these zoom icons have been replaced by these numbers. You can just select a number now to zoom all the way up to 10x or you can use your fingers to pinch in and pinch out as well. The old option also works. Uh, there is no problem with that. Uh, and if you just use the front camera on your phone, you have these new icons for switching uh, between the wide and ultra wide mode on the front camera. 
of your phone if you go all the way towards the right you you can see this add option here you could uh, drag and drop these icons to the camera tray previously as well but now just click on this add button and drag the icon and drop it here and you can click on save i don't know what's the purpose of this add option maybe it is here to just to let you uh, know that you can actually drag these icons and drop into the camera tray because without this button it's really hard to figure out how you are supposed to bring these icons to this tray i have talked about this in my tips and tricks video so if you have been watching those you might be already aware of this feature the pro mode has got a new ui as well this is how it looks now uh, there are no massive changes here the phone still doesn't have the raw capture mode i think the raw capture mode is not going to make it to the samsung mid-range devices ever there are new privacy controls uh, in the new one ui4 and if you open any application and the application uses your camera and mic access you will see its icon on the top right corner for example right now it is accessing the camera so we have the camera icon appearing on the top right corner of the screen and if we just go to the video here and start recording a video you, you will see that now the mic icon is also appearing here along with the camera icon you can see that the camera and the mic buttons appearing here are telling us that an application that is running on the phone is using these features now this works for all the applications on your phone any application that uses one of these you will see uh, it being accessed via these icons appearing on the top right corner of your phone's screen while i am talking about these new privacy controls let me also show you that we get the new privacy toggles here as well you can see the microphone access toggle here the camera access toggle is missing from here now this means uh, if you just add this toggle to the toggles here and uh, you just turn this toggle off it would mean that all the applications that want to use the microphone won't be able to access it until and unless you turn it back on uh, this could be done with the camera uh, access as well but the camera access icon is missing on this ui uh, let me just show you i have the camera access icon on my samsung galaxy s22 ultra you can see it right here i think this is kind of a bug and samsung needs to bring back this icon on the samsung galaxy a devices asap uh, now you know that you can turn on or off the camera and microphone access for all the applications at once let me also show you that you have the new privacy controls the extended privacy controls here in the settings first of all it shows you all the applications that have used the camera mic or location in the last 24 hours and from here you can turn on or off the microphone and camera access as well and you can also get the alerts when an application uses the clipboard of your device you get a small notification right here on the bottom of your screen uh, telling you that this application accessed the clipboard of your phone basically when you're copying and pasting stuff across different applications on your phone now here if you go to all permissions and uh, you can see that uh, all the permissions or all the permission usage data is right here you can restrict the applications from using certain uh, features and certain performing certain actions on your smartphone so these extended privacy controls uh, definitely put you at immense peace if you know how to use them there are some other new toggles in the phone as well if you click on the plus button especially you can see this extra dim option here this extra dim option will basically take the brightness of your phone all the way to the lowest possible level this was basically an accessibility feature and you now have its toggle here as well you can see that extra dim does this and this is how low the brightness can go if you just use the extra dim feature of your phone and uh, let me also show you the brightness without the extra dim feature this is how low it usually goes without the extra dim on the phone similarly in the toggles you also have this brand new toggle called secure wi-fi and there are a couple of other new toggles in the toggles menu of the phone let me just quickly show you some new features in the ar zone of the phone in the ar zone you have uh, a couple of new features for example you can now create a video uh, the call screen and lock screen features were already there i guess but you can now use your emoji across uh, different accounts for the profile picture and details uh, if i just want to create a video i can just click on this option and we have some new dance moves here in this section of uh, the AR emojis. If you use the AR emoji for your Samsung account, it is going to appear as your profile picture among your contacts as well. You have some new Bitmoji uh, images and animations for the always on display as well. 
uh, since we are let's take a look at the new always on display options too the always on display options now have this new option show for new notifications previously you could show the always on display for 10 seconds or you could show it always or you could just schedule it but now you can show it for the new notifications it will keep showing up until you just check the notifications and wipe them off from the screen this is a new feature and i think some users are going to love it since we are talking about the always on display let me also show you some new features on the lock screen of the phone we have the new lock screen widgets and if you just click on these widgets here uh, you can see that first of all it shows you the music that is being played uh, you have this new recording button right here on the lock screen there is no need to unlock the phone and then open the voice recorder you can actually record anything while being on the lock screen of the phone you just have to unlock your phone once to give it the required permissions because without permissions it won't be able to record anything but if i just go ahead and record now you can see that it has started recording my voice uh, you can also add new widgets to the lock screen of your uh, new one uf4 powered smartphone next up is the face id there is a new option in the face id controls of the phone let me just show you that as well if you just go to the face id and uh, you just access the options you will see this new option that tells you add alternative appearance to enhance the recognition so maybe if you wear the glasses or you plan on uh, having a beard and then you want to remove the beard you can actually register an uh, alternative look for yourself that will help you easily unlock the phone without running into any kind of problems there is another new option you have to unlock options for the applications now for example if an ap application can use your fingerprint scanner for such applications you can also use the face id unlock uh, so you can now use face id unlock and uh, the fingerprint scanner for such applications this is basically valid for the banking applications or if you have any cryptocurrency wallets installed on your phone such applications will let you use the face id unlock and the fingerprint scanner as well to access those applications let me also show you uh, the new emojis you can now actually create a combination of emojis on your phone for this we can go to the messages application on the phone and in the samsung keyboard we have some new features but the highlight is the new combined emojis feature so if you just type a new message on your phone and uh, you just go to the emojis like this here and now click on the emojis and here you can just click on this icon this pair now you can select two emojis to create a pair for example i want to create a pair i can just go to this option and click on for example this one and this one next you can see that i can now select the animation what kind of animation i want to apply i want to apply this one and here we have it so i can send these emojis to all my contacts through the messaging application the keyboard application has also been enhanced its search functionality has been enhanced as well you can get the smart content directly in the uh, keyboard the bitmoji uh, moji talk jiffy spotify google translate and you can also enable the grammarly assistant in the keyboard of your phone so if you are not good at grammar or your spellings are not too strong you can actually enable the grammarly writing assistant and you can start typing and it will just enhance your experience and it will help you learn a lot of new stuff as well if you uh, launch the timer on your phone for example now if i just start the timer uh, of one minute maybe and i go back to the screen you can see that a mini timer appears here to let me keep a track of the time this is a new feature and it actually looks nice on the screen of your phone isn't it the calendar application has also got a new look and the calendar has a couple of new features as well you can now add events to the calendar right here from the top screen by just clicking on the icon or, or by just clicking on the date you can see that i can add notes and a lot of other data to create a new event right inside the calendar the calendar has also got new widgets and they also look quite good let me take you to the gallery application of the phone now i found this feature in uh, jimmy's video from the jimmy's promo channel i wasn't aware of this feature beforehand anyways you can see that right here you have this header appearing on the top and this looks a little weird this is a lot of space that is not being consumed 
uh, what you can do is you can go to the settings of the gallery application and you can enable the full screen scrolling now you can see that we have the full screen scrolling the album covers now go way all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom as well this is one nice feature in the gallery application if you try to edit a photo you will find a new interface for the editor as well you can see that uh, these icons are new and enhanced and these are all your options to edit or enhance the look of your desired image last but not the least if you just go to the home screen settings of your one ui4 power device you can see the add media page to the home screen you can add google discover or the samsung free and you can turn it off as well this wasn't there back in the day but this option has been made available now and you can turn it on or change it according to your own liking and that is pretty much it with the new features in the one ui4 android 12 for the Samsung Galaxy A52 S 5G, A52, A52 5G and the Galaxy A72. I hope you guys liked this video. If you think that I have missed any important feature, make sure that you drop it in the comment section down below and do not leave without hitting the subscribe button and liking this video. With that being said, I will sign off and see you all in the next one.